I'm sure that you must have used Amazon for looking for smartphones. So when you search smartphones in Amazon, on the left hand side of the page, you can see this. Uh, so you, we have like about 3500 results. On the left hand side, you can see this uh, check boxes, series of category of check boxes. These are called as search facets. Uh, so if you click in uh, these are used to distill the search results basically. So if you let's suppose you click on the some Android operating system, it will distill your search results for results matching Android. Let's say further you can say 8 GB RAM or something like that. So these are search facets. In our search, let's try to you let's try to create search facets using Solars. We have got 683 players. Let's try to create search facets. Maybe we could create search facet based on position, such as goalkeeper or something like that. So let's write the code to create search facets. So we need to index the field on which we want to create search facet. So we want to create on position. So position is already indexed, right? So let's go to the controller and create the facet. Searcher dot facet and position. This we are creating the field facet. This is called as field facet. And now it is created. Now we need to render the facet in our search results. So let's go to search results and we will render the facets, the series of check boxes basically. So if you can see the markup, I have got uh, browse by position search variable dot facet so search variable is the variable where we have collected the search result player dot search outcome we have collected in at the rate search variable so we are saying at the rate search dot facet facet uh, name position dot rows so we are going to iterate through the facet rows so each row for each row we are going to uh, draw a checkbox uh, every row we have a checkbox the class name is facet checkbox position uh, then we are going to name it as position because we want to use it for conditioning row dot value will be the facet value either goalkeeper midfielder or something like that and second important thing is row dot count how many goalkeepers how many forwards how many defenders now Let's uh, go back to our search and see how it looks. So we'll just do search. See, we have got check boxes, facets, midfielder 292, uh, defender 214, forward 104, goalkeeper 73, etc. We will of course learn to distill the search results based on this uh, checking and unchecking of these check boxes. But before that, uh, I would like to introduce uh, some other types of facets that are available in Sunspot Solar. Uh, this was a field facet, as I said, the simplest type. Now let's create a query facet. This is another type of facet that is available in Sunspot Solar. It is a bit kind of like range, uh, like you can see, you can read in the official documentation. Uh, for a range of values, we create a facet. Like, for example, here they have given average rating from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, etc. In our uh, application, we would like to create uh, based on the goal scored by each player. So we don't have that field index. So let's create a helper. This data is available in uh, player statistic. So I'll create a helper. Let's say self dot player statistic dot goals scored. And I will uh, I will index that field in my player model, right? Uh, let's quickly go and re-index the data. Now we have the field index, so we can create a facet based on it. We will create a query facet. So we'll say searcher dot facet goal scored, and you can see I have created a query facet. So when goal scored are I'm creating row zero to ten. When the goals scored are in the range of 0 to 10 right similarly when the I'm creating a row 11 to 20 when the goals scored 
are in the range of uh, 11 to 20 this is my condition for the row 11 20 similarly uh, 21 to 30 I'm creating another row facet row 21 to 30 so this is how you create a query facet basically uh, now let's 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 go and render this this facet in our search results so this is my code browse by goals code again we are iterating through facet rows for each row now we are creating radio buttons because we want it to be mutually exclusive uh, if you see name of the class for each radio button is facet checkbox goals code I have taken it like that because I want to write generic source code generic code in my JavaScript so this name name of the control is goals code and like every time every facet row we got a value and we got a count let's say search and now you can see we have browse by goals code 0 to 10 665 11 to 20 15 players and 21 to 33 3 players of course we'll write the code to distill the results based on selection of facets right that is our next target there's one more type of facet that solar sunspot solar provides called as a range facet it is very similar to query facet but just the method of creation is a little different and syntax is little different so let's just do that so we'll create this uh, range facet based on minutes played because we have already indexed that field in our player model right so the range facets are created like this you have to provide the range of values and the in range interval right so let's go in our case we'll say searcher.facet based on minutes played right we already index minutes minutes played so we can create the facet on it so let's say searcher.facet uh, minutes played then range is uh, 0 to 4000 that is minutes and range interval is 500 so I expect the facets to be 0 to 500, 500 to 1000, 1000 to 1500 and so on and so forth. Now let's print the facet. Let's say browse by minutes played. Cool. And it is going, we are going to use radio buttons again just like query facet. As always search facet minutes played dot rows. For each row we are creating a radio button. Uh, again I have chosen the class name as facet checkbox minutes played again as I said because I want to create a common JavaScript class for this so that's why that name of the radio button is minutes played and uh, of course with every facet row we have got row dot count and row dot value cool so let's just say search and yeah so you can get these things like 0 to 500 500 to 1000 1000 to 1500 uh, 676 players, 3, something like that. It's very similar to. Now, as we saw earlier in with the Amazon example, when you have facets on the left hand side of search results, you could distill the results of search based on this selection of these facets, right? So let's do that. Now, if you can see the upper pose, upper part of my search form, it's all about I submit, resubmit the form every time I make a selection. But in case of my facets I want to give you another approach I will write a coffee script or JavaScript and use Ajax to update the results based on my facet selection so we have created a new file facet search dot coffee coffee script is nothing but it it is trans compiled to JavaScript by the browser and the syntactical advantage is that it is much easier to write uh, object oriented code uh, using coffee script syntax but eventually it is transcompiled to JavaScript by browser before execution. So there's every bit of valid JavaScript code is valid CoffeeScript code too. So not much difference. All right, so I will write a class uh, in my facet search coffee uh, so that I can utilize it. So I will quickly create a namespace called as solar and uh, then I'll write a class called as solar namespace dot facet search right so I'll explain the class in our constructor we require four things container the HTML uh, div some kind of container facet name the URL to which Ajax call will be posted 
and uh, facet type by default it is checkbox otherwise it could be radio also in our uh, init function we have created a search form object uh, object basically it's an empty object which will be used store the data contain the data of the form the search form as well as the facet selections uh, to make uh, ajax call right in that specific uh, search form object we have created an array a subfield this will be specifically used for collecting the facet selection data now this is our uh, facet checkbox or radio button uh, selection event right this is my facet selection event so in case so that's why you see this common name now facet checkbox plus facet name that will be coming from the container so now you understand why i named my checkboxes and radio buttons like that facet checkbox dash facet name right so once you click that this i'm handling the click event of this uh, and what I'm saying in that click event is that if the facet type is radio button, then uh, I'm going to empty the contents of the previous selection, right? If if you are checking the checkbox or radio button, I'm going to push the value of that checkbox or radio button into my search form object uh, facet name field. So we are pushing the contents of facet selection if it is checked, right? Otherwise, we'll remove the contents of uh, that particular checkbox from the, if it is unchecked, then we'll remove the uh, contents of that checkbox from the uh, fa search form object facet selection data. And at the end of the, we will call the filter search method. This will be, this method will be used to make the Ajax call to the search players uh, method, which will result into the updation of results based on facet conditions right in the filter search method the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to serialize the form data the main form you can see this the text box and this sorting and pagination so i will make sure that i serialize the data of this form and then i will uh, reformat the data a bit and then i'm going to add one more field in my search form object data that is facet call equal to true this is required to distinguish in the controller to distinguish between normal search request and ajax search request so url will be whatever we get from the container mostly it will be search players in our case data will be whatever data we have assembled from the form as well as from the facet selection now this is this is the common code which will be executed in ajax as well as normal search request but rendering of re rendering of markup will be a bit different in case of ajax call because we do not want to render everything we just want to render the results right so for that case what i'm going to do is i'll say if uh, params facet call you remember we set that value in our coffee script facet call is present then we'll just render the partial containing search results. I'll create a new file first. Say uh, players search results, right? A separate view, right? And I'll just copy these contents where we are printing the search results, only that, that part. And we'll copy this and paste into our player search results file and render this file player search that is our folder player search results and remember to set layout as false because in this case we just want to draw that markup without the normal application layout such as the header and the footer and the common layout we just want to draw this much we don't want to draw the normal application layout right my first uh, instantiation of facet search class is player search container is our common div where everything is every markup is inside this particular div it's a parent div so i'm mentioning that the name of the facet is position url for ajax call is search players and because default facet type is checkbox i'm not mentioning it in my uh, 
not mentioning in my first uh, instantiation. Second, I'm using goals scored uh, and minutes played, which are radio radio facets. All right. Let's put condition for facet selection selections. So normal condition is searcher with position equal to params position if param params position is present and that will be params position will be present if you have checked some check boxes so let's check this out now let's do normal search and let's then say midfielder now we have got 292 let's say defenders also 506 let's remove midfielders let's select goalkeepers yeah so this is working now let's do the same with the radio buttons right on our query facets by goal scored so let's we have to add the condition in the controller for that so I'll, I'll quickly add the condition for my goal scored facet selection before that I need to do some refactoring of my search params so I'm going to write this method from strings to integer integer range so I'm going to write a method called as set query facet params and what I'm going to do in there is that I'm going to check the parameter if it is coming from Ajax call and I'm going to write a switch case block on the params goals code and if they are if they are a string of 0 to 10 like that I'm going to convert it into an integer range of 0 to 10 right so if they're like that if they are a string of 11 to 20 like that if that is a string like that I'm going to convert them into an integer range because that is how I will be able to apply the condition. So I'm going to go there and apply that condition there uh, if params goal scored are is present, right? That's similar to params position dot present. Params goal scored dot present if, right? So let's go and check this out now. Let's reload. Uh, let's do the normal search first and let's go and check this 11 to 20 goals. Yes, 15 players. 11 to 21 to 30, only three players. And 0 to 10, 6, 65 players. Now we have not done conjunction between this facet and this facet, right? They cannot work in conjunction, the two facets. That can be simply very easily done, making some tweakings in our coffee script in our JAWS. Okay, so I just change the markup a bit in my search results. So I'm showing the goals, red cards, and yellow cards when I make a selection. You can see the number of goals scored, right? And 21 to 30, we have only three players who have scored that many goals, Lukaku, Kane and Sanchez. Right. Remember, all this code is present uh, on a GitHub repository that I'm going to share the link in the description section. Please make use of it.